Today, we will answer this algebra challenge. And here's the question. If the roots of the function f of x equals 3x cubed, 25x squared, plus 34x plus 3 are a, b, and c, then the goal is to find the numerical value of 1 minus 1 over a squared multiplied by 1 minus 1 over b squared multiplied by 1 minus 1 over c squared. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this function and the roots of this function are a, b, and c, then the goal is to find the numerical value of 1 over 1 over a squared times 1 over 1 over b squared times 1 over 1 over c squared. Now, to answer this kind of question, of course, we don't need to find the value of a, b, and c and substitute this expression and get the value of this expression. So, how do we find the value of this expression without getting the roots of this function? So, first thing we need to do is to simplify first this expression. Because take note, 1 minus 1 over a squared, we can rewrite this as a squared minus 1 all over a squared. So, the second and the third can be written as b squared minus 1 over b squared, and we have c squared minus 1 over c squared. Now also take note, this 1 is also 1 squared. So we have the difference of two squares, so we can factor this out nicely as a minus 1 multiplied by a plus 1. And so b squared minus 1 can be factored as b minus 1 times b plus 1. And c squared minus 1 can be factored as c minus 1 times c plus 1. Now, multiply this three expression. This will give us the product of the numerator over a squared times b squared times c squared. And we can simplify this as a, b, c raised to the power of 2. Now, another thing to notice is this expression a minus 1, b minus 1, and c minus 1. So why not? Let's rearrange some terms a little bit. So we have now a product of a minus 1, b minus 1, c minus 1, and the product of a plus 1, b plus 1, and c plus 1. Alright, so again, this is equivalent to our expression that we want to find. Now from here, if we get the value of a, b, c, and the value of a minus 1, b minus 1, up to c plus 1, then we can now get the value of this entire expression. To find the value of a plus b plus c, we will use what we call the Bieta's relation. And given that alpha, beta, and gamma are the roots of this cubic equation, then the product of the roots alpha, beta, gamma is equal to negative b over a. Given our cubic function, we can say that the product of a, b, and c is equal to negative 3 over 3, which is this is d and this is a. And negative 3 over 3 is just negative 1. So we now have the value of a times b times c. Now the problem is the numerator. And of course, since f of x is a cubic equation or cubic function, we can rewrite this as 3 multiplied by x minus a times x minus b times x minus c, wherein a, b, and c are the roots of this cubic function. Now, why is this 3 in the front because the leading coefficient of this cubic function is 3. If this is a monic cubic equation, then we don't have to put a constant in the front. Alright, so by the way, let's continue. Now, since they are both equal to f of x, we can say that these two expressions are also equal. And from here, to find the value of a minus 1, b minus 1, and c minus 1, what we're going to do is to let x equals 1. Because if we do that, we have 3 times this is 1 minus a multiplied by 1 minus b multiplied by 1 minus c equals all of this x becomes 1. Now, if we simplify the right-hand side of our equation, this is just 15. And now, divide both sides by 3 we get that the value of 1 minus a times 1 minus b times 1 minus c e equals 5. Now let's focus on this result. 
we want a minus 1 and not 1 minus a. So what we're going to do is to factor out negative 1 from this 3 expression. And if we do that, we get something like this. So take note, if we multiply again negative 1 to a minus 1, this will go back to positive 1 minus a. And the same thing to the other factors. Now let's continue. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. This is just negative 1 for sure. So divide both sides by negative 1. So the value of this expression simply equal to negative 5. Now, we now have the value for a minus 1 times b minus 1 times c minus 1. So the only problem is the product of a plus 1, b plus 1, and c plus 1. And that's easy. Because using again this equation, if we let x equals negative 1, our equation becomes 3 times negative 1 minus a times negative 1 minus b times negative 1 minus c equals if all of these x are negative 1, this simplifies to negative 59. And now, let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do here is to factor out again negative 1 to this 3 expression. And if we do that, we get something like this. Now, negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, this is just negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Divide all of this term by negative 3, this will give us a value of 59 over 3. Now, we have a value for ABC and a value for the product of A minus 1, B minus 1, C minus 1, and the product of A plus 1, B plus 1, and C plus 1. And also, we can now find the value of this expression. Now, the denominator ABC is negative 1, so we have negative 1 raised to the power of 2 or simply equal to positive 1. So this simplifies to the product of these six factors. And the value of these three, we know this is negative 5. And the last three is 59 over 3. So this is just the product of negative 5 and 59 over 3, which is we have negative 295 over 3. And this is also the value of this expression. Therefore, if the roots of this function are a, b, and c, then the numerical value of this expression is simply equal to negative 295 all over 3. And as always, we are done. And of course, for your practice, let's answer this extra challenge. So if the roots of the function f of x equals 2x cubed minus 69x plus 2 are a, b, and c, then again, you need to find the numerical value of 1 minus 1 over a squared times 1 minus 1 over b squared times 1 minus 1 over c squared. Now, I will see your answer in the comment section down below. And see you on our next video.